My name is Milan Kopik. I'm a senior mechanical engineer. Me and my team of four mechanical engineers is making an all-mechanical industrial yet frugal brick press for use in rural Nicaragua. I'm Audrey Gozali. I'm a senior civil engineering major with a minor in Spanish. My group's project is to design and implement a rainwater catchment system um, that would be on a local school and it would have a slow sand filter on the side to do point of use filtration for drinking water. Hi, I'm Ben Lampy. I'm a senior electrical engineer and for my senior design project I am working on an air quality monitor. So the goal is to create a small device that you can carry around with you and monitor the particulate matter that you're exposed to on a daily basis so you can create localized pollution maps based off of everyone's aggregate sensor data and you can watch pollution, see how it collects and that can help influence policy um, and different measures to help clean up the area and cities. Engineering requires a lot of modification based on what has already been implemented and also getting like community feedback. It's easy to go into a community and just give them something and then just back away from it without really tracking what goals if goals are being met. If you really want to understand and kind of make the best products for someone, you have to really kind of understand the community and also just kind of understand like what problems they have and like what issues that they need help with. So one thing is that they need to use a lot of water for their current method, but with our system they could use like a lot less water. That saves costs and also it helps a lot with the community because during the dry season they use a lot of water and it's obviously not ideal. It's important to know how privileged we all are to have access to clean water, especially like in California, which is generally pretty dry. We should be actively trying to raise awareness and fight for environmental justice for people who otherwise like might not have access to clean water, whether that be because they are underprivileged, um, minor historically minoritized, like in communities like that. Air pollution within schools is a really serious issue and it really affects lower income schools because those are generally inner city, they're located right next to highways and so there's a lot more air pollution um, and so kind of raising awareness about that could really help uh, promote some measures to improve the air around those schools um, and to increase the health of school children.